Well, thank you for that very flattering introduction. Wow. Congrats, anti-aging medicine. It has come a long way from 20 years ago where we met in that small room. Uh, it was kind of fly by night. Nobody recognized us. And we, we knew we were on to something big. And congratulations to the founders. This is really, really something, some event. When I think back, I think, uh, you know, what is it that we're trying to do with anti-aging? And as you struggle with your career in anti-aging, how you might voice this to your patients, I think we all encounter the same obstacle. The obstacle is one of credibility, believability. You're going to say to your client, I can affect the way that you age. I can alter that, that negative consequence of mortality that we all, we all find ourselves struggling with. From the moment we are, are capable of understanding our predicament, there's some very deep-rooted concern over what is going to happen to us. Everyone basically knows they're going to get sick, they're going to grow weak, and they're going to die. So here we come along and say, well now, for the first time, we can do something different. The major issue you will face is one of credibility, one of believability. So we have to root what we do in science. And like every good workman, if you want to accomplish a task, you have to have good light on your workbench. You have to expose the problem. Now we're dealing with something that is very negative, it, that our, our patients have an intuitive awareness. They know. And you're trying to change that preconception. You have to expose how and why we age. And you have to document. You have to have a metric. You have to prove to the skeptic. You have to be able to win an argument on 60 minutes because the deck is stacked against you from the beginning. So how are you going to do this? Well, I will hold an eternal debt to the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine for giving what I do a name, for giving it some uh, credibility, at least among certain circles, some um, credentially that this is indeed uh, possible. So what I want to do today is talk to you about something that is, I think, the biggest breakthrough in the history of the 20 years that I've been involved in anti-aging. I remember when this first uh, became evident that we were onto something new and different that allowed us to, to prove in a new way to quantify in a new way what we were doing with anti-aging. I called Dr. Klatz up and I said, Ron, you remember in your book where you wrote that there would be a major breakthrough in anti-aging within the next 15 years. Well, it's been 14 years and guess what? This is it. I found it. And, and Ron said, well, I, I don't know, Al. You may, you may be on to something, but, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So that's, that's been six years ago now. And we have lots more evidence that I intend to go over with you tonight that I hope I convince you that this is the breakthrough that gives anti-aging a whole new credibility. We can measure what we're doing. We can expose how you are aging and we can do something about it. So this Tilo Nutritioneering big pearl-handled word, but uh, it's really just about using nutrition to affect the way that our DNA plays out the aging program. It is part of 
my purpose today to show you that there's a new way of thinking about the way that the DNA controls our lives.